Joining us now is Greg Hardesty of the Orange County Register, the reporter who interviewed Tina Dugard. Good morning. Good morning. Looking at her face mm -hmm. and the unbridled joy that she exudes in speaking about her niece and those two little mm -hmm. girls gives you a kind of a window on how they are that I don't think we would have had otherwise. What struck you most about the time that you spent with her and how long did you spend with her? I spent about an hour with Tina and given the horrific details of, of the case, you know, I was expecting you know, some of the darkness and some yeah. of the horror of what we know about the case to you know, be apparent yeah. in my interactions with her. And what I took away from her was just this overwhelming sense of joy that for me as a reporter was, was unprecedented. I, she was uncontainable happiness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that surprised me. I think the thing that's also surprising, you know, as we watch this interview and hear what the yeah. aunt has to say, is this notion, here's this little girl is held captive for mm -hmm. all these years. She's a little girl when she's kidnapped. She becomes a mother to these two little girls and sounds like she's turned into this amazing parent. Indeed, and um, Tina attributed a lot of that to JC's mother. Mm. She, Tina lived with JC's mother for about the last 10 years and uh, she has another daughter who's 19 and is a wonderful mother. Mm -hmm. And so I think some of the parenting um, obviously rubbed off on, on JC and she was yeah. a, a good parent to her girls. Did her aunt talk about how they're trying to go about re-entry? Because they've been in this nether world. Yes. They've been in this, in this you know, sort of circle of hell for all the, these years. And now they have to sort of figure out how to gradually re-enter what the rest of us live in. Yes. How are they handling that? Well, for right now they're focusing on the here and now. You know, obviously moving forward there's some serious challenges that, that all three of them are going to have to face. There's counseling that they're going to obviously have to go through. They're not thinking too far into the future. Mm -hmm. So right now, the focus is on reconnecting as a family. Right. Just making memories like we all do with our families. Yeah. And she didn't really want to, they're not able to really look beyond that because mm -hmm. it's so surreal still. In their because focus. everyone is knocking on the door, not the exactly. least of which is the police, the prosecutors, uh, psychologists, everybody else is sort of leaning against that door saying, we need to be a part of this process, but for now they're right. trying to keep it at bay. Oh yeah, think about what happened in that backyard is an, ex an extremely personal thing and they're not really eager to share that with the world yet. They, they need some healing to occur first yeah. and that healing is gonna take days, weeks, months, Probably years. Years, yes. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. So. Great job with the interview. Thanks oh, very thanks. much for bringing it to us. Do appreciate it. Oh, my it. pleasure. You bet. Thank you.